This is the all new LMDE6 and it's trending right now. LMDE is short for Linux Mint Debian Edition and it's an extraordinary distro from the makers of the wildly popular Linux Mint. What started off as a backup project has grown into a fantastic operating system, merging the best of both worlds, Debian's time-tested stability and Linux Mint's fresh modern approach. I was left surprised by the high quality computing experience that this distro provides. Really, LMD is carving its own place in the Linux world and it's definitely here to stay. I've been playing with LMD6 for some time now to see how it performs as my main system. I was really anticipated to see how LMD6 compares against other top distros, especially my main Linux Mint system. And LMD came out with flying colors. Really, in certain areas, this is even better than the main Linux Mint. And very honestly, LMD6 is a strong contender for the throne of the best Linux distro of 2023. So I'm thrilled to bring LMD6 to you today. Let's jump right in and have a look at the user interface, the performance, the stability, software availability, gaming, and finally see why this stealthy distro is getting hyped to the kingdom come. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you're interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express, which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the vEditor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Before we start off, it's important that we understand what exactly LMD is. LMD or Linux Mint Debian Edition, as the name suggests, is Linux Mint, but it's based on Debian instead of Ubuntu. LMD was initiated as a backup project for the main Linux Mint, just in case Ubuntu died or went haywire and changed too much to be a viable base for Linux Mint. LMD aims to combine the strength and stability of Debian with the elegance and modern user experience that Cinnamon Desktop provides. In this process, LMD has become more than the sum of both its components. In a world of four snaps and hefty flat packs, rapidly changing technology that's too fast for users to catch on, LMD is becoming a solid lighthouse, providing the perfect equilibrium, unchanging reliability and a contemporary computing experience. And because of these undeniable reasons, LMD is catching traction in the Linux community and accumulating itself a strong and growing user base. LMD6 features the latest Cinnamon desktop environment. Now Cinnamon Desktop has a hardcore fan following because of its elegance and the way of doing things. I wouldn't be wrong in saying that Cinnamon Desktop catapulted Linux Mint to its success. Yeah, Cinnamon is one single biggest reason for Linux Mint's popularity. We get the exact same Cinnamon Desktop here. Cinnamon Desktop has a traditional layout and it's one of the simplest ways to use your computer. The menu on the bottom left has all your applications and a fast search to help you open apps and files quickly. Then you have your favorites and running apps here. Lastly, you have your tray items, quick controls like volume, and the calendar. Yeah, this desktop is familiar to everybody. That's what makes using Cinnamon so much simpler. There's pretty much no learning curve involved here. You can just jump in and start using this system. And talking about the looks. Cinnamon desktop looks very elegant. There is a high level of polish here and all the elements like the menu, the tray icons, and the windows look very good. The theming here makes all the applications look very gorgeous and uniform. Mint developers have been playing with the theme and this version of Cinnamon has received polishing touches to improve the look, especially the title bar window controls. Cinnamon Desktop has taken a very balanced approach throughout. While the looks, the elements have been updated throughout time to be modern always, how you interact with your computer, how you use your computer has stayed consistent. So whenever there's an update, you never have to relearn how to do something on the Cinnamon Desktop. Cinnamon Desktop offers a decent amount of customization options. You can tweak the colors, change animations, and play with a few other things. But the customization options don't overwhelm you like they do on KD Plasma. Everything is kept simple. Cinnamon Desktop is an UI unlike anything. It's one of the best in the business. I use Linux Mint as my main system and the Cinnamon Desktop played a big role in that decision. We get the same Cinnamon Desktop here on LMD. And it's not just Cinnamon. The full app suite of Linux Mint like the Mint Software Manager, Media Players, 
utilities and all the mint stuff is present here. LMD gives you a modern and elegant user experience. With Debian, you'll be getting slightly older desktops, but LMD solves that issue. As far as looks are concerned, LMD is full Linux Mint. In fact, you can't even tell the difference between Mint and LMD just by looking at the desktop. And the differences lay deeper than the UI. But in the UI department, LMD scores top points as you are getting the impeccable Cinnamon desktop here in all its glory. The main Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu LTS versions. Linux Mint Debian Edition obviously is based on Debian. While Ubuntu itself is based on Debian, it is based on Debian SID, which is kind of an unstable branch. LMD is based on the latest stable branch of Debian. This leads to considerable differences in the user experience. And another thing is, Ubuntu adds many things to create its own unique identity. For example, snaps and a customized desktop environment. Linux Mint on the other hand aims to deliver a pure experience. We'll define pure in a moment, but yeah, Ubuntu has taken a road that takes it away from Mint's philosophy. Talking about the stability itself, Ubuntu, the main Linux Mint's base is very stable. It's very reliable and it is the most popular Linux distro in the world. No question about that. But it is derived from Debian and then Mint uses that as the base. With LMD, Mint cuts out the middleman and directly bases on Debian stable. Now Debian stable is the most stable, dependable operating system there is. It's also one of the oldest and influential operating systems. It undergoes extensive testing and prioritizes stability over everything. It's the Rock OS. The desktop Linux scene is ever evolving. I mean, people come here for that cutting edge experience. With cutting edge comes constant change. GNOME 2 to GNOME 3, GNOME 3 to GNOME 40, things change. With every change, the user needs to readjust and relearn how to do things. This can be cumbersome for some people. I mean, when I'm in the middle of important projects, I really don't have the time or the energy to deal with abrupt changes in how my computer works. Debian stands as an unwavering beacon of consistency. In this fast-moving technical landscape, Debian provides a computing platform that's consistent. Debian has a slow moment. Yeah, at times, it does feel outdated. I won't even deny that. But it doesn't compromise on its philosophies. That is providing a coherent and reliable system always. While most other distros are flirting with the bleeding edge tech, trying out new things for the sake of being advanced, Debian doesn't even play that game. This results in Debian's stable versions being impeccable. Everything works absolutely flawlessly thanks to long and rigorous testing. LMD is based on this very Debian stable. It just comes in a different wrapper, a shinier gift wrapping. This strong stability has become LMD's biggest selling point. But there's more here. The software seen on LMD is the absolute trump card here. See, the newer unified package managers like Snap and Flatpak are amazing. They bring the newest versions of all the software, they are self-updating and never have any dependency issues. I use a few of these apps, but most of my apps are still installed as full native packages. There is a beauty to native package managers like apt and rpm. They install software so harmoniously and Debian's apt package manager stands in a very special place. It's one of the best in the business. Also, software installed using these full native package managers take up way, way less storage space compared to snaps or flat packs. These are so much faster to start up and can be lighter on the system as well. And many people do prefer to use full native packages. Ubuntu, while it still provides a rich software repository, is nevertheless encouraging and even pushing snaps onto its users. Once there is heavy acceptance of snaps, it's reasonable to think that attention to its .deb software repositories might start being downshifted. I mean, why would they waste resources on something that very less people use? Although, I should stress that this hasn't happened yet. Most distros like Ubuntu and Fedora are fully supporting their native packages, but full-fledged promotion of snaps and flatpacks is evident. Debian, on the other hand, is fully committed to testing and maintaining its own software packages in full native format. While you can install both snaps and flatpacks here, Debian's commitment to its package repositories remains unchanged. The newest Debian stable, that is Debian 12, which LMD6 is based upon, contains 64,000 well-tested packages. This means you can install anything you want directly from Debian repositories here. Daily tools, office utilities, browsers, games, programming tools, yeah, anything and everything you want will be available here in .deb format. And I'm expecting this to remain the same for a long time. Even if native packages here downgrade on other distros, Debian is going to remain the last resort for people like me who prefer to use full native packages. LMD6 comes with Mint Software Manager which is one of the best software managers out there. It's extremely simple. It provides a good set of software nicely organized into categories. 
You can install software here in both .dev formats as well as flat packs. You can use the drop down here to select the packaging format that you want. Overall, the software situation on LMD, thanks to its Debian base, creates a very unique place for LMD. I think we can use the word pure to describe the software availability on LMD. Since most of the distros are going the unified package manager route, LMD becomes even more valuable. Top points here. LMD shines in the performance section thanks to the use of optimized components. Firstly, LMD's Cinnamon desktop is very efficient when you're talking about modern desktop environments. Cinnamon, compared to something like GNOME, uses less resources, resulting in a responsive experience. App opening, switching between apps, it's all very fluid here. While Cinnamon Desktop does use animations and effects, they are nonetheless kept minimal, and the desktop doesn't incorporate huge effects like GNOME's Activities Overview. All the desktop actions like opening the menu have a minimal impact, and the base of the system delivers a very balanced performance. Debian is known to have a very balanced performance profile. It delivers a reliable and fluid performance across a range of hardware. LMD performs slightly faster when compared to the main Linux Mint as well. Now Linux Mint itself delivers phenomenal performance. LMD outshines that by a slight margin. It may be because of different versions of packages used in Debian or even the kernel. Ubuntu tweaks the mainline kernel with its own performance and stability tweaks while Debian keeps it more stock. LMD feels nimbler than Mint. Another thing is, Debian has extensive hardware support. Debian works out of the box on a wide range of hardware. Debian is known for that it just works feature. LMD benefits hugely from this. It too works out of the box on most hardware. You won't need to get under the hood to install drivers, tweak configuration files and stuff. Everything works optimally here. LMD6 provides the perfect system for gaming. For gaming, I always prefer slow moving distros because they generally don't break your games with changing components. I use a separate dedicated distro for gaming and it's not the same as my main work system. And when I log into my gaming system, I just want to game and not do anything else like dealing with updates or any kind of housekeeping. So you can see how LMD fits in perfectly here. On LMD, Steam is going to be a gaming essential. Actually, on any distro, Steam has become a must have if you want to explore the gaming potentials here. Steam has a vast library of Linux titles, Counter-Strike, the Tomb Raider series, Dota 2, Team Fortress 2 and many more fun titles are available natively on Linux here. But the real genius kicks in once you enable Steam Play from the Steam settings. With Steam Play enabled, you can play thousands of Windows exclusive titles on Linux like they are Linux native. There is no installation or configuration hassle. Steam will install Windows games with Proton compatibility layer and configure everything automatically. This works surprisingly well. You can play AAA titles like GTA 5, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Cyberpunk 2077 and many more on Linux like they are Linux native. Really, Steam has revolutionized gaming on Linux. Apart from this, you can get hundreds of absolutely free games directly from the software store here. The gaming section in the software manager is steaming with fun titles that can be so much fun. Check out Zero AD, Xonautic, Hedge Wars, Super Tux Cart and a lot more here. All in all, gaming on LMD6 is super fun and very convenient. And if you use Steam, gaming becomes unstoppable here. Installing and getting started with LMD6 is very straightforward. Once you download the ISO file from the official website, which is linked in the description below, you flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Then start the installer. The installer is very similar to what Ubuntu has or even the main Linux Mint has. Everything is easy to understand and represented in very beginner friendly way here. Once you configure all the options like your language, time zone and partition to install LMD, the system will be installed in 15 minutes. Talking about the drivers, LMD contains almost all the hardware drivers. GPU drivers for Intel Integrated and AMD are pre-installed. If you have Nvidia hardware, you'll need to manually install proprietary drivers. It's easy peasy. Just follow the link given in the description below. Overall, installing and getting started with LMD is a breeze. LMD has a growing community. Many people are embracing LMD and the number of people using it is growing steadily. Many people are even choosing LMD over the main mint. The Linux Mint forums are growing with LMD related how to's, troubleshooting guides and answers to questions. Since LMD is Debian under the hood, you can safely apply guides written for Debian 12 to LMD 6. Of course, not stuff related to the desktop environment, but things like how to install something, drivers, under the hood tweaking and most of the help material written for Debian can be used with LMD. And Debian has extensive availability of such guides. Pretty much any question you might have, you'll find them already answered for Debian. 
basing on a long-standing and popular Linux distro has very impactful advantages in this department, and LMD sure gets these. The combined community support of LMD and Debian ensures that you never get stuck with any issues on the new LMD. Any issue, first search how to solve it on LMD, and if you don't find a satisfactory solution, then search how to solve the issue on Debian 12. You'll get it. Linux Mint developers are magicians, honestly. What they did with Linux Mint is absolutely commendable. How many people can say that they'll improve upon Ubuntu, which itself is a top quality product and the world's most used Linux distro? Not many. I mean, a few can say that, like Zorin OS developers and Elementary OS developers, but not many. You get the idea. But Mint is a smash hit because it does improve upon the Ubuntu experience. Millions of people use Mint and it's a loud system. Now, they have done the same with Debian. Debian is a phenomenal system. For most people, flawless stability is going to be more important than bleeding edge software. Debian understands this and delivers on it. With LMD, Mint developers wrap up this super solid system in a shinier package and make it more attractive. And this is Debian made vastly simpler. LMD is easier than Debian to install and get started with, it's simpler to use and configure, Thanks to Cinnamon Desktop and the overall experience of using this system is a very palpable one. You can download the latest LMD using the link given in the description below. Alright, if you enjoyed this deep dive with LMD6, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out what's new in the latest Linux Mint, that's Linux Mint 21.2. It's bringing 17 striking changes this time around, so absolutely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out. <laughs>